Right now, it's time for Marcos to get cracking. He started on the creamy centre for his egg custard tart. The judges have got no chance. So what we do, we've got our eight egg yolks, switch in there, just very, very lightly break them together. Just break them up like so. As you put in the sugar, mix it together. You just slightly whisk it. Don't just pour your sugar on the eggs and just leave it on its own. You've got it. Yeah, get it, get it, whisk it in. And just bring it a little bit of lightness. You don't need to whip it too much. Mm. Just like so. Green likes quite simple food, and this is quite simple, isn't it? It's, it is, it's incredibly. The key is just to stop it from leaking in the tart, and that way, so what happens is if it goes underneath the tart, the whole pastry case will become soggy. Have you ever had a pudding disaster? Uh, not till today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today. Today might be the start. <laughs> you never have? I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking. You've I'm erased thinking. it from your mind. I have. You know, I, do. Yeah, I do. Do, do, do. It's just like a computer. Well, this so is got, milk or cream? This is um, whipping cream. Oh, whipping cream, okay. Yeah. So it's a little bit lighter than, yeah. less fat, and a little bit lighter. So we just basically just put that into there. Like so. But what I'm going to do, and I, okay. I shouldn't be doing this because this isn't part of the recipe. I'm just putting a little bit of vanilla, A, because I just love the taste of vanilla. And I think vanilla brings out the flavour in custard. And then just drop those in there. Like so. And that is basically it. Into the fridge, let it, just let it allow the vanilla to infuse for 20 minutes. So Marcus's egg custard now needs to be chilled. And coincidentally, his rival across the counter has also been making custard. It's for the bread and butter element of his sticky toffee bread and butter pudding. A bit similar, actually, the two of you. Yeah? So you worried either of you by that? No, yeah, so I mean, Marcus is different. Yeah. Marcus is slightly one-dimensional. Mine has many more, many more facets to it. <laughs> and then we just press the bread into the bottom, keep it good and solid. In the same way that Marcus doesn't want any holes in his pastry, I'm similar in the fact that I want to make sure with this that this will be a good, solid edge to it. Because this is so small, we're going to put some custard on each layer. So you're getting flavour in there straight away. So basically what we do is we layer this up, another layer of bread, and then we let them stand for 25 minutes so that as much of the custard as possible will absorb into this, which will speed up the cooking process and, of course, get the flavour in there. Then after that, into the oven, about 20 minutes, I reckon, until they're set. And uh, we're nearly there. Looking good to me. While Simon's bread and butter pudding's set, he's decided to try to unsettle his opponent. Do you think you're ahead of the game then, or what? This is our fourth course. Three courses so far. Are you happy with what you've done? Truthfully? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's a couple of things I'm not happy with. Yeah. Like the topping on your hot pot. Dirty dishes. I know. You let yourself down. I've got a plan you? for that, actually. You let yourself down. <laughs> you? I drove myself insane with it. <laughs> Now, there's a lot riding on this pudding course, especially as Marcus does think he botched his hot pot yesterday. I wouldn't say I was over the moon with my main course, purely because it didn't look right. I'm, I'm stickler for perfection of things looking exactly right. Both chefs are feeling the pressure to end their menus with a flourish rather than a flop. If the oven's not right, I'm used to cooking it at Petrus in an oven that I know the temperature, I know how it works. It's completely new, this, so... I'm just going to have to keep running around, keeping an eye on the, on the pudding. Because if it splits, I've had it, um, I've, I've had history. I think puddings are always prone to being a little bit temperamental because it's more of an exact science. Um, that if, say with mine, that if the custard isn't quite right and it doesn't soak in well enough, then will the pudding stand up in its own right? Will it flop down um, when I come to actually glaze the top of it? Will I burn part of it? So, yeah, I mean, there's always kind of worries. So you're always a little bit edgy, I think.